Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my university. I'm gonna try to tell you how I went through the whole process of like, you know, applying for scholarship, applying for the degree, getting to university, starting university, and how my university is like. So without further ado, let's get started. I have been to Chinese universities before, so this was not the first time I was applying for a Chinese university. So I had a little knowledge about how to go through these processes and what to expect when getting at university. Basically, I started out by looking around for a degree I really wanted to study. I knew that I wanted to study in English, so that kind of limited the degrees very fast. Basically, I only found two degrees which did journalism in English and those two were two universities in Beijing. One was the one I am doing right now and the other one was another one at Tsinghua University, which is a better university than the one I do right now, but because I chose this one because of other reasons as well. After finding the university I wanted to go to, I applied for the scholarship. I also applied for the university. It's two separate application procedures, so you have to make sure that you apply for both. And then first I received one and then I received the other and I was like, yay, now I can do this. After receiving the confirmation of the scholarship, I sent that to the university and told them this is my scholarship and then they put it together and it actually everything went really smooth. Then I got a health check at home in Denmark first and then I got my visa and then I went to China. I went to China a little early so in the beginning I couldn't go to the university because they didn't open up before in the end of August or like the beginning of September. This is very common so if you want to go to China before that you have to make sure that you have another place to stay because the dorm is not going to be open before a few days before university start. Anyways, so I went to the university, I went to international office, I was looking around, where are they? In the beginning I couldn't really find anything, but I asked a little bit around and everyone was really nice. There are some other Chinese university students sitting on campus and waiting for the Chinese students to arrive, so they were really helpful and they tried their best to tell us where to go. First I went to international office and the dorm and they signed me up and they put me in a dorm room with another girl who was really nice and then I put all my stuff there as well and I was like playing around for a week. I got to know some of the other people on campus, some of the other international students. We had some parties together. It was a lot of fun. And then one week later, our classes started. I just followed the schedule. I met my classmates. We had a lot of fun together. It was actually a really simple process. The university is very nice. It's uh, smaller than the biggest universities in Beijing, which is lovely, I think, for me, because then you can bike around. It's very fast to get around and easy to get out of campus and in again and a lot of and everyone there is super nice also at campus we do have like library cafes restaurants there is a supermarket a hairdresser and we have all the classrooms of course and a dorm and a stadium and a gym and a pool we have everything there so basically your life can be only at campus. You don't even have to leave the campus, which I think is pretty awesome. So yeah, that's like a little bit about the university. I'm gonna show you guys a few clips from my university campus because I personally think it's so beautiful. You're not gonna need anything. We also have a subway, by the way. So you can get a sandwich when you're getting tired of Chinese food. I get that a lot. So that's really lovely for me anyways. One problem though is that my degree is kind of messy. Basically, I was supposed to study international journalism but because they have two English taught degrees, they put them together because they're not that many students. So I study international journalism and that's what it's gonna say on my certificate afterwards. But basically I only study courses concerning new media because that's the other degree and it seems like more professors like to talk about that. I don't like that part because I don't learn to write anything and I also don't learn the rules about journalism in China. I would have loved to know more about that. Luckily, I'm also very curious about new media and maybe I should have chosen that degree instead of. I realized this later on. So it's, for me, it's not that bad, but I'm just saying that don't expect too much when you get to China. It's more of a cultural experience and it looks good on your CV. And like, obviously, if you go to the best universities, they're gonna be harder on you, you're gonna learn more. I see that with some of my friends who are at those universities, like they do have more things they have to hand in and write and da da da. 
but not that much at my university. But it's fine for me because then I have time to do my own thing and that was one of the reasons why I chose a small university because I knew this already. At my university we also have a lot of student organizations. We have a bar so it's like you're never alone. Please never be worried about this because when you get to China there will be other foreign students around and I promise you you'll have so much fun. You might get this feeling of like being homesick. I get that because I think everyone has that once in a while but it will you know go away at some point. You can check out a video I made about this. So that is basically a little introduction about my degree. I'm gonna study until next year but I only have courses until like in two weeks then we're gonna finish and somebody just took a picture of me we're gonna finish this course very soon and then next semester we're gonna do an internship and then the last half a year I have to write my thesis and that's great then I can finish next year with a master's degree from China it's great experience and I want to stay here that was my story about my university here they're both good goods and bads but you know I love it here I really really love it I do honestly love it I know that some people like oh, China nah, nah, nah. but um, I really honestly love it here and I hope that you will like it too remember if you have more questions if you want more personal advice you can always look at my website Lena around look for the Skype me project and then you can call me and we can talk and I'll help you as much as I can okay the people here are getting very curious, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See ya and Zai Tian. Bye bye.